ignore the stupid lanyard I have on here for now. But uh, you can see here that uh, it does fit very well in the hand. It did come razor sharp. Um, it was a little hard in opening when I first got it. It was a little slow. Um, seemed to move past that. It does occasionally uh, lock up every once in a while. You know, it's a little, it's a little dangerous at times. So the knife will roll over. You're flicking it open and gets you on the hand right here. Um, maybe I just need more practice. Um, I do really like this knife a lot. Um, it weighs just a little bit more than what I thought, but um, it's pretty functional. Uh, the opening hole is a lot easier than I, I thought it would be. Um, I, I see, just like that, I got my uh, fingernail right under there. It's a little bit dangerous when you close it. Not uh, super easy to close. Um, I would say that the um, point is not quite as uh, detailed as what I thought. Uh, or rather, detail work is a little more difficult. It does have a slight chip to it already. So, uh, something to think about there. Uh, pocket clip is just fine. Overall, it's a pretty good knife. Um, I haven't cut myself too many times with it. It is one of those ones that uh, do have to be careful with, extra careful. Uh, I didn't think I was going to really, really like the spider coat knives when I first saw them, but you know, after feeling them, using them, grooves here are great. It feels good in the hand. G10's awesome. Uh, I like it. I think I'm going to be buying more of them. Okay. Alright, one more look here. Alright, thanks. I have to add here that uh, for the money, this is just a pretty amazing knife. It's like $32, $35 or so. Came real fast. Get where I order it from, it's off the internet. But uh, yeah, I think this one should be in everyone's collection if you uh, if you really like this style. But uh, great buy, feels good, amazing.